you may already know, uh, my area in Florida is being affected by Hurricane Irma right now. So, uh, we had an evacuation plan, but it, uh, there was too many cars breaking down and running out of gas on uh, the highway and stuff. So, we just uh, decided to stay home and ride it out. And me and my dad went out to uh, the store and got ourselves some Hot Wheels, and we're going to check them out right now. So the first thing we're gonna get into is the Hot Wheels Power Shift Raceway. It's a pretty cool kit. Uh, it comes with five cars on the top. So let's get straight into it. There we go. Let's see what we got. Okay, it looks like we got a good bit of track. a little bit more, let's just dump it. There's a lot in this one. There we go. Here's the motorized part. Stickers. So, let's try to put this together. Uh, here's the picture. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is uh, get these all sorted out and uh, Make sure we have everything together that goes together so we don't get confused when we're putting it together. So all the green stuff goes over there, red right here, gray right here. Okay, so it looks like we got it all together. Now, it, uh, first thing that it says to do is put this loop together and it shows this being at the top going this way. So we're gonna put it together that way uh, it looks like it goes, uh, okay, so we got that loop done. Let's go on to the next step. It shows this, I think, yeah, this, and then it shows a, this piece. It shows this part going in here, and then this part going down here. There we go. And this one. Ugh. Okay, so we got that piece done. And next it shows this going with this right here. Hold on. Yeah, 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 right there. Like that. And then it shows uh, this. Uh, going right here. Well, well, if it goes on there, right? There we go. Yeah, it shows the other track going on this side. And then, well, well, if it goes on. Here we go. There we go. Get that on there. Great. Here we go. So we got that part finished. Let's move on. Uh, right here, I think. Right there, yeah, right there. Okay, so next it is this. There we go. And next it has this part, this stool stand going right here. And then this right here. Okay, so it's starting to get easier as we go. So that goes like that. And then it shows this piece. And then it shows just connecting it all. So this piece goes this side. Oh, this connects <clears throat> this and uh, this part, I think. Yeah. Uh, where's the side? Move that for now. And we put this like this. There we go. 
So next you connect that piece to that. Here we go. And then I think we need this now. And then we connect this piece to, and this goes in here, I think. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. And then you put that down there. That was really easy once I figured it out. Uh, it took me a minute, but you just slide it together. It's pretty easy once I figured it out. So next up is uh, this piece, and this shows it. It shows this going straight down on here, like that, and then this piece going into here, like that, and then right here goes into that. It's hard to get all this in the picture. I knew that was for something. What the. And that came out. Okay, there we go. Much easier than I made it seem. Now we just need to put the stickers on and we'd be good to go. If you ever go out and uh, get this track kit, uh, be more careful than I was. I uh, forced them together and I kind of bent the piece right here. But um, be a little bit more gentle with it. So let's get the stickers on. And if you need the pieces, or more pieces to make this bigger, you can also do that. Don't limit yourself to just this. So we're gonna make another video where we're gonna test this out and stuff. And uh, you can keep an eye out for that video. It should be coming soon. So, yeah. Uh, we got a good bit of these. My dad got a handful of them. Um, so let's get all these out. Let's see how many we got. Ah. Pretty sure this is all of them. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight times three is eight, 16, 24 uh, feet. So that's not too, too bad. For the price they were, not bad at all. Um, comes with uh, three feet each and four of these little blue pieces. So, um, we also got this um, uh, little um, case to carry around. These will go very uh, nice with this. It's It shoots it itself. Uh, let's uh, go ahead and open this up. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Knife right here. I'll show you the cars I got. There we go. And we can get these out. I don't, I, actually, I forgot to show you the cars I got in the other box. So let's get those out while we're at getting these out. Okay. The cars that were in the top of this. They're right there inside that little box right there. Let's try to get that out of there without damaging the box. There we go. You're liking a little line. So uh, uh, it's a good idea to have some scissors handy. I had to go get some. I had a knife, it wasn't sharp enough. But uh, I think they're just held in by rubber bands. Should come out pretty easily. There we go. 
Uh, so we got this car. It's a pink and purple car. Um, so yeah. There's that car. Put these on the track with it. Oh, and I also looked at this car. I didn't notice this in the store, but we got a duplicate. But it's always cool to have a duplicate because then you know that you don't have to really worry about messing it up because you already have another one just in case. Man, okay, there we go. There it is, and here's the yellow one. This one came out of the uh, one pack uh, of the two. This one came out of the uh, kit. Green bottoms. So yeah. Uh, we'll get the next car out. Uh, this red car. It's a 32 race car. Let's see here. There we go. Okay, so we got this uh, 32 race car. Spins pretty well. Um, uh, white interior, red color, good detail. So, yeah, next one. The next one is a really cool one. I, me and my dad really liked it. It kinda uh, was a part of us getting the kit. We liked the kit at first, and then we saw the car, and we were like, we have to get that. So, um, there we go. I don't think I'm going to be uh, messing with this one too, too much. It's a hot, Team Hot Wheels. It's not a Team Hot Wheels, but it's a Hot Wheels race car. So, next uh, car. Is this gold club muscle car. It's a, it's a copyright of 2006, so it's a kind of older model. Uh, so we're gonna get all of these um, tracks together and um, we're gonna make a line of just these cars. Okay, so I got all these cars lined up out of the um, kit and out of the uh, box and we're gonna, uh, out of this box, and we're gonna uh, get the other cars uh, that I got. Uh, we're gonna show them to you one, one pack at a time. So this one right here is a really cool flames one. Uh, so I'm gonna open this up and show it to you. Uh, or here's the HW Flames five pack. Uh, let's start off with the first car. It's a yellow 69 or 65 Chevy Impala, sorry. Okay, if you could read that, uh, put in the comments, I'll give you a shout out. I can barely read it in person. It's really hard to read, it's so shiny. So, uh, next car. Next car is a 69 Camaro, 1969. It's red, uh, convertible. This one's not too hard to read. There you go. Next up is the 66 Chevy Nova. It's green with a yellowish tint to the flames. I think they did really good on this one. The green um, uh, windshield and um, glass. This one's kind of shiny, but it's not as shiny as the other one. Uh, still, if you can read that, put in the comments. I'll give you a shout out. Okay, next car is a 67 Shelby GT500. Black with um, yellow flames. This one's a plastic body. I mean, bottom. There we go. Here's the last one is a Custom 77 Dodge Van. This one's the one that I really liked whenever I saw it, when I really got it for. It's 
really cool. This one's pretty shiny too. You can see that. There you go. Okay guys, so this next one is so cool. Uh, I'm not gonna be opening this one. I'm not gonna tell you why I'm not gonna be opening this one. I'm gonna hope that somebody can spot it. So we're gonna start with the bottom one and I'm gonna work my way up. Uh, this one's a Jeep Scrambler. This one's a really uh, cool turquoise blue. The next one is a Sand Blaster. Next one is the Ford Escort. Next one is the Team Hot Wheels Corkscrew Buggy. Next one is the Snowstormer. So, if you can spot why I'm not opening this, put it in the comments. The first one that gets it right, I'll uh, shout you out in the next video. So next uh, pack. So this one I am gonna open, it's just a normal pack. It's just a normal pack. It's the uh, stunt circuit. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Whoops, I'm going too far down. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and get this out. So, there they are. This first one that is the one that really caught my eye. Uh, it's the um, medieval car. It's pink. This side is a little bit different. This car is the reason I bought this uh, stunt circuit car set. It's the medieval. Uh, it's pink. You barely ever see a pink Hot Wheels car. It's pretty rare because no, mostly just boys play with Hot Wheels and uh, they don't want uh, pink cars. But um, they do sometimes put some pink cars out there just in case a girl wants to play with them. So we'll go into the next one. This is the Rogue Hog. Um, it's a yellow Rogue Hog. It's made out of um, all the way plastic. Uh, windshield is a little bit scratched. That's fine though. I'm gonna be erasing this one, seeing if which one's the fastest. The bottom, I think, is uh, metal. So, on to the next one. The next one is a jackhammer. This one's another reason I got this pack. It's a really long car, as you can tell. Uh, up to the medieval, it's really long. So, uh, it's white, has uh, blue flames. It looks like it's been worn a little bit. Uh, it's a 66 uh, race, I think it might have been a race car, because it's a 66, so. Uh, on to the next car. Next car is a Iridium. It's a green uh, metal body. Wait, plastic body, uh, metal bottom. Uh, so, has flames on the side and the lightning bolt with stars. Uh, it has the small um, Hot Wheels logo right there. Uh, it has the, a good bit of detail, orange uh, interior, so yeah. This next one is a symbolic car. Uh, it's gray, it has stunt team on it, and has a plastic bottom, uh, white. The interior is black, green windshield, and a good bit of detail. So that's it. Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna put all these track pieces together, and then we'll see what we have. So we're gonna uh, open up all these. We have a good bit of them. We're gonna connect them to this right here, and we're gonna uh, be attaching out some of the cars that I have gotten, and we're gonna see how long it's gonna end up being. So, let's go. Okay. And also show you how um, 
it all goes together. Okay. And then you just connect them all together like this. So we're gonna do two at a time right now. Uh, these are both the clear speeders and uh, we have it at two notches and we're gonna see who wins. So it does seem like one side does go a little bit faster than the other. So let's try it. Pretty much both are go at the same speed. So next we're going to uh, do the uh, hammer against, at one notch, we're going to do the hammer against the um, iridium. They're both a uh, part of the stock circuit and we're going to try to see who wins. Ooh, that one didn't even finish. That's not great. I think you should try more than one notch. Okay. So this time we're going to try all the way up. As far as we can go. Three notches. We're going to do the road top. And the, uh, the tracker. Let's see what they'll do. Three, two, one. Man, that goes really fast. So this, we're gonna start at three notches. And uh, the, this is the rogue hog against the tracker. The tracker's a little bit thicker, so we're gonna see who wins. Ooh, the rogue hog spinning out at the beginning. So I think they're gonna do a little bit better. 
In three, two, one. Ooh, Roadhog getting stuck on the track. Better look next time. Next off is the the Angels against the Symbolic. We're gonna do number three on this one. I have faith that they won't spin out. In three, two, one. Ooh, Angels won. Next up is gonna be the Clear Speeder again. I have faith in this one that he's not gonna uh, go as a tie. And against the end of Romeo. Level two. Three, two, one. Ooh, that didn't seem like it was fast enough for the anagronium. But next up is the uh, C C M Country Club Muscle against uh, Torque Twister. So I'm gonna do. I got faith in these for three notches. Three, two, one. Ooh, okay, tight one. So let's see, out of all the ones that won this round, let's see who's gonna win. So I think this one won. Both of these tied, so we need to do these again. Uh, which one else won? Uh, the Rohog didn't win, this one did. Uh, this one didn't win. This, did this one win? I forgot. I think so. This one didn't win. This one won. Okay, so we're gonna take these six down there and see who's gonna win out of the whole race. We might have to do it a couple more times to see, but we're gonna do it. Again, we're gonna do um, the tracker against uh, Endogronium at level two. Already wanted to go away. Okay, three, two, one. Ooh, the blue one. The blue one. Okay, it's the tracker one. Next up. Uh, is a CMM Country Muscle Club against the Clear Speeder at level two. Because the Clear Speeder is really light. Three, two, one. Oh, the muscle car won by a big margin that time. Okay, so next up is the Hammer against the Clear Speeder. One. Two. Let's see. Three, two, one. Okay, the hammer won. So let's try those three out and see who's gonna win out of these. I have faith in the hammer. He's, I'm pretty sure he's a pretty fast one. So we're gonna do the hammer up against the tracker on level two. Three, two, one. Oh, uh, the hammer is for sure one. Now the hammer against the muscle car is the last race. Who is gonna win the final race? This one, all the way to three notches. Three, two, one. Oh, the muscle car won. I was wrong. I didn't have enough uh, faith in the muscle car. Okay, that's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. I look forward to showing you more of my Hot Wheels collection. And uh, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you won't miss any of the upcoming videos or episodes. And we're gonna hunker down and wait for this uh, hurricane to pass. Bye.